Peace, what's going down? Memory here with another Acid Pro 8 tutorial. Today we'll be looking at a Magix plugin called Vandal. Vandal is a guitar and bass amp emulator that is included with the purchase of the Acid Pro 8 suite. Whether used in real time or applied after recording, Vandal provides bassists and guitarists with a variety of presets, amps, and effects to work with in order to craft their own custom sound. Vandal is not exclusive to bass or guitar. It can be used to create interesting textures and effects to be applied to any type of audio. In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how I've used Vandal to help me shape my guitar sound. As a session guitarist, it can sometimes be difficult to find the right texture or tone, but Vandal makes this process much easier. Stay tuned, I hope you enjoy. Here we are in Acid Pro 8, and what I have pulled up here is a track that I was working on with Dream Life Beats. Dream Life is a platinum producer who is produced for Snoop Dogg, Wale, Kodak Black, Kevin Gates, and more. He's a really great producer, like my homie DJ Payne One, and recently we've been working on a lot of kits and beats together. And the way the process goes is he'll come up with an idea, and he'll send me a track, and then give me instructions on what kind of guitar he wants added to it. Sometimes the instructions are as simple as play whatever you want, and so I can embellish and, and take the track in a different direction or play something that I think would sound good on it. And then I send all the guitars back to him. And from there, he will finish the track and then, you know, either send it out or add it to one of the kits that we're working on. So this is one of the tracks that we worked on a while ago together. And it was one of our favorites. And I used a lot of Vandal in this track. So I wanted to go through and kind of show you all of the different tracks and how I've used Vandal in order to shape the guitars. Because there's so much material, it's hard to figure out what to do next. So uh, Vandal provides a lot of different options uh, for guitar textures and sounds. And the whole idea here is that I create a lot of different things. And then when I send it back to Dream Life, he can pick and choose what he thinks sounds best and just add that into the beat. Here's the sample that he sent me to start with. The first thing he wanted me to do was kind of replay the guitar that was already in there. And, you know, I wanted to play something that was similar, uh, something that had sort of a vintage feel to it. So I played this guitar over it. And then there was a part B here, and I'm just going to play the guitar that I played so you can hear it. And then I added uh, a distortion underneath. So if we look at uh, the Vandal... Uh, plugin that I used. So what I like to do is start with one of the presets and if I click here there are just a ton of different presets that I can use and so I use the jazz combo room and then from there I sort of tweak the dials. Um, the jazz combo room gives you the EQ and compressor here and then it has a virtual amplifier and then you can even go in and kind of change the cabinets around. So I believe I changed the speaker to a 12 inch US ceramic, which just, you know, it modifies the sound in different ways. There's a lot of different options in here for guitar or bass. So you could go either way and, you know, you're going to get a lot of different results, but ultimately you can craft your, your tones any way you want. It's just like, you know, user preference, what sounds best to you. This distorted part here, I used a uh, Rectify This 2009 El Cha. So um, 
you know, this was just sort of a, a distortion. This is a preamp overdrive that's on here. And, you know, if I wanted to add more effects to this, I could simply click on any of these stomp areas and I can choose which kind of effect I want. If I wanted a delay, you know, I could choose a digital delay and add that in, you know, and then I can tweak the dials there. But in this case, the distortion was good enough. So I just kept with that. The next part I added in was this. Yeah, this was kind of cool. They have this preset called Mud Mojo, and it combines this interesting funk frog uh, stomp pedal with fuzz and some EQ. And there's nothing I've ever heard really that sounds like this, at least not in a guitar amp emulator. I've heard this in, you know, songs, but I've never been able to find anything that kind of has this funk frog sort of sound to it. So I thought that that was pretty cool. That added uh, a pretty interesting effect. So you get, with the beat you have... The next part is really interesting. There is no preset for this, but it is a it's actually a bass synth and it has a really cool sound to it. It's called the Black Bee Bass Synth. That's just a trippy effect. I really like that. So, I added that in underneath all this other stuff. The next part that I added Vandal to was this so, like crazy solo part where I just started soloing all over the place. So it sounds like this. And so for this, what I did is I used this clean vibe, which is just a phase shifter and tremolo. And, you know, it just sounds trippy and it's, you know, sending the, the signal to the left and right channels. So, like, they're kind of all over the place and it, you know, just adds a little bit of chaos into the track. So the final part that I added Vandal to follows the sample itself. <laughs> So in this case, I started with the preset over the edge, and then I just added, I, I think I tweaked the chorus a little bit on here, and um, messed with the uh, the cabinet a little bit. Um, so, you know, it's really up to you what you do with, with the plugin. You can do a lot with it. It has great amp simulation, so it's a lot of fun to just come in here and tweak things, and, you know, kind of figure out your own custom sounds. Uh, the presets are a good place to start, so that's my tip, is to start with a preset and then just sort of, you know, mix, you know, play with the dials until you get something that you like. And then uh, also, you know, just by altering the preset, you know, it makes it yours. So that's a good thing. So that's pretty much it. Um, and all together, let me play the whole track. <laughs> So if any of you are interested in checking out Dream Life's production, you can find them on YouTube at Dream Life Beats, or you can go on BeatStars and uh, search for Dream Life Beats that way. Also, if you're interested in sample kits, check out thesamplelab.com, and that's where he is selling a lot of the kits that we uh, have worked on together. With that said, uh, I bid you adieu and thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Check out Acid Pro 8 for yourself and try out Vandal and see if it's something that helps you in your production.
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, visit the Magic's website for details. You can also purchase a copy of the Acid Pro 8 Suite from their website, and it'll include a copy of Vandal for you to try. Stay tuned for future tutorials like this one. So long, and happy producing.